Hey guys, back with another video, uh, just showing you a quick timing setup on a 1.4 liter uh, Chevy Cruze, Chev Trax. Uh, this one's a 2014 that I'm working on, 1.4 liter. If it looks like this, that's what your, uh, if it has that like that, that's the timing chain cover. I'm working on this one, taking it all apart. I'm having trouble with my... Uh, tensioner and stuff so I'm replacing everything putting on a new all the new gear for the timing chain setup but anyway on the timing <clears throat> this was a tough one for me when I first took it apart um, jumped the chain my cam went all over the place and whatnot and I had to do a lot of research and actually go look at another engine and and copy how that engine was in timed and luckily I found one that was all apart and I could, and the timing was still set on it. But what I learned was, before you start taking your chain apart, you want to put something across that your two cam sprockets, or your, not your cam sprockets, but your cams anyway, whatever they are. Um, you want to put something across the back. And you want them lined up like that. Um, the thing is, if if your cams are spun around the other way, that won't fit across. Those slots will be down below the top of your heads. So what you want to do is you want to turn it, before you take the timing chain apart, turn it at the bottom with a wrench. Turn that nut there. I already took the pulley off and everything, but turn that until you line up your uh, your crank pulley with this. If you look on here, <clears throat> on your timing chain cover, you'll see a little slot right there. It's like a little piece, a little marking there. And then when your sprocket or your uh, pulley is in place, before you take it, even before you take this off to get at your timing chain, you could see your timing chain. If your timing chain hasn't jumped and everything is in a line, before you start taking it apart, turn this while it's all installed and line up that dot with that little notch there that you see. And get that lined up first, if you can, if, you, if your timing chain didn't jump. But if it did jump, what you're gonna have to do is take it all apart. You could also do this if, if, if right from scratch too, it's pretty simple. So what you do is you just line up those two, that's, then that'll put you at your number one. Piston will be up, which is right there. That'll be top dead center. And then you take these two sprockets and spin them around. As long as you don't upset these things right here, don't, don't take that bolt off but you could spin these around, grab them with a wrench right here. I can't remember what the size is, but you grab them with a wrench here and spin them around until that, that is up and you could lock it in place, both of them. And then, that, then, then you have your top two cams in line and then when you have that, your bottom crank lined up with the pulley like that, you're all set up, you could put your, your chain back on but before, again, if you can do it, if your timing's all good and you can do it and put that piece across, you're good to go with your timing. After, as long as you line up your bottom crank, your crank pulley, with that mark on your timing chain cover. <clears throat> I had to go and like, at points I would have to, like if I lost my top dead center, that line up with that hole in that notch, I would have to put the timing chain cover on, turn, put the pulley on, turn it until I got it lined up after I had these locked in place. And then I put the chain on, made sure nothing jumped, made, made sure that didn't move down there. And I put the chain on, put everything together. And then it fired up right away. Because these do not have notches, as you can tell. You'll find out that these don't have no timing marks, nothing on them. And uh, yeah, and that's how I set the timing on it. If you have trouble, if you can luck out. Um, what I had trouble was with these at one point <clears throat> where I took the bolt off of these. Do not take these apart if you don't have to. 
Um, the bolts on these, I took them off <clears throat> and I moved these after. And if you move those, that's gonna throw off your timing too. If your car won't start or whatever. You gotta make sure these are lined up right. Um, couldn't find any research on how to get them on, how to have them in the right position. What I had to do again, like I said before, I had the engine that was taken apart. The timing was all good on it. So what I did was I went and took a picture of it and the positions of these things while I had these locked in place. And I just moved those to what the, my picture position showed. And then it worked like a charm. It started right up, everything was fine. And then, yeah, it was good. But then I had trouble with the uh, timing, my timing tensioner and stuff like that. So I had to uh, go back in and replace all the timing stuff. But yeah, that's how you set the timing on a 1.4 uh, Chevy Trax, Chevy Cruze, this is a 2014. If you have any trouble, hope you can find out some more information online. Uh, it's pretty tough, there's not much out there for this, but uh, yeah. If you have any questions, comment, let me know what's going on. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.